How's it going, people? Well, it's pretty darn hot up here on Mount Hope. Not as hot as it is in the city, but it cooled down with a nice icy drink. So, making a martini, slushy style. And they do shake and not stir it. It has nothing to do with James Bond. It's just that I like that slushy effect. Uh, three olives. I'm not messing around this time. Oh, ooh, nice. Yeah, it's in the upper 90s today. And this is a tract from my childhood Sunday go to meeting school. Um, deal. Yeah, it's where I got drug as a kid. Um, ooh, that's some tiny print. Okay, but anyway, God so loved. I think John 3.16 alert, possibly. Yeah, big old cross sticking in the earth. <laughs> All right. And for some reason, the earth is surrounded by mist. I wonder if that's the firmament or something. Uh, I should have got my reading glasses, I think. All right. Nearly 2,000 years ago, God stepped out of eternity into time. That's how it happened. Eternity is, it's outside of time. Which explains everything. You know, you know, you know in TARDIS, you know, Doctor Who terms at least. A dash of D&D. Um, all the splendors of heaven were set aside as he clothed himself in a human body. <sighs> uh, I wonder if he uh, turned into a swan to seduce his mom. Oh wait, that was, uh, that's right, that was um, Zeus. Or, um, Jupiter. Alright. Shunning all previous honor and majesty, he, in the person of Jesus Christ, faced headlong every trial and limitation subjected to mankind. In his little experience. Well, you know, he ran into some sick people along the way. Damn, it's hot. Ugh. All right. Uh, never mind. Uh, but why did God take such a drastic step? Part of the master plan, I hear. Quotations. Uh, the Lord looked down from heaven upon the children of men to see if there were any that did understand and seek God. End quote. What did he find? Uh, back into the quote. Uh, they are all gone aside. They are all together become filthy. There is none that doeth good, no, not one. And there's a, a number one next to that, so there's a citation, and I'll just superimpose it up there, the uh, citation. Mm. Might be the altitude up here, but that seems like it's going to my head. All right. Uh. So, because, back into the quote, they're helping out, um, all have sinned and come short of the glory of God, end quote, and a number two citation. There it is. There is a barrier. They finished God's sentence for him. Uh, God must say to mankind, quotations, your iniquities have separate, separated between you and your God, and your sins have hid his face from you. That's how it works. I knew it was our fault somehow. <sighs> He's hiding because of us. 
pretending like he don't exist. But he really does, somehow, in eternity, outside of reality, time, reality, whatever. <sighs> And your sins have hid his face from you, that he will not hear. And that's in quote. Another citation there. <sighs> and they're going to finish the sentence again. Uh, for he is, and then back into a quote, I don't know if it's the same one. Quotations, right in the middle of the sentence, no capitalization there, of purer eyes than to behold evil and canst not look on uh, iniquity. Canst not look? Isn't that like a double negative? I guess the president can do it. Anyone can. Even the Bible. <sighs> Alternative facts, I guess. End quote. Damn it. Thus, it is... Wait. Thus, it was man's helpless position as a result of his sin that prompted God to make his step. He had to do something. Because he painted himself into a corner. Can't drown the planet again. And press reap, you know. You know. <laughs> Yeah, press reset, you know, with eight family members to repopulate the planet, and just pairs of others, depending on... Anyhow, let's not think too hard about this. Ruin the whole experience. Mm. Oh. The most scrupulous examination of Christ's sojourn here would conclude that his life was one of incomparable perfection and yet he also suffered all the uh, shortcomings and problems we have but still remaining perfect because he had to be a good ritual blemishless blood sacrifice to atone vicariously down through the ages creating a new covenant makes sense just like that his life was one of incomparable perfection yet it was not his flawless life but his death thank you which climaxed the event ever since he was not, quotations, in the middle of something, for the sins of the people, in quotation, citation, that's, read the whole verse, they only used a little snippet to finish their sentence, a little cut and paste going on here, to the good book, but it speaks for itself, don't it? The vast difference covered by that step can only be measured by the statement of so loved. That's probably 316 right there. Right there. I made enough for two. Ooh. Hammer time. Mm. I do make a mean martini. Mm. All right, now, now we're going into, oh, John 3.16. So God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. And chug that Kool-Aid while you're at it. You just got to pick behind which curtain. You don't get to know what's behind it, just what you might be told. Okay. Though God has gone to this extreme... For the remedy of man's disastrous state. <coughs> mm, not quite there. The majority of mankind is passing by his gracious offer. Because he ain't going to do that again, man. You know, 
No more hammer time for him. Nailed it. In doing so, they are causing God's love towards them to be in vain. Say it ain't so. We wouldn't want that now. It'd be like him saying his own name in vain. It'd be like him having faith in something that ain't so. That would be tragic. Uh, I guess it doesn't cost anything, though, if you're doing it in eternity where reality and time don't exist. Okay. Since, as an individual, you, reader, in parentheses to make it clear, are a part of humanity, the purpose of this paper is to bring to you, bring to your attention the fact that, all caps, you are the object of God's love, in caps. As such, you must respond in one of two ways, either favorably or negatively. How wonderful the opportunity to freely accept the provision of God's love. It's provisional. <laughs> and thus be able to say, and this is a quotation for us, I guess, we say this, and we have seen and do testify that the Father sent the Son to be the Savior of the world. And we have known and believed the love that God hath to us. And that's actually a quotation. And citation 7. Citation 7. Look it up. Read the whole damn thing. Probably says something else when you read the whole thing. God's provision of eternal life is entirely a free gift. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Citation 8. And again, quotation, for the grace, for by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. <sighs> It is your privilege and God's earnest desire for you to accept the salvation he so freely offers to you this day. Freely, but with, cat, but with a catch. Caveats and a catch and strings attached and all that. Yeah, it's free, but you never stop paying for it. Oh, man. <sighs> On the other hand, how tragic the portion of them, quotations, of them that perish because they received not the love of the truth, their truth, the one they want, uh, that they might be saved. Citation 10. sweating here. This negative answer can be given in several ways. Same result though. Either one can abruptly declare no or neglect it for some reason or push it into a corner saying some other time. And then the damn bugle sounds, and you're too late. You did, you know, you, there was no empty seat for you when it was time to grab a seat. No cake for you. Maybe pie in the sky when you die. Not yet. Oh, it's almost there. Hmm. Yeah. However... Each way will yield the same take-home pay, condemnation. See, you really only have one choice, 
unless you choose to be fucked. Then you have to. All right. Uh, and parenthetical, uh, such condemnation consists of unceasing torment in the lake of fire. See Mark 9, 42 through 49. In Revelation 2015, in parenthetical, close bracket. This portion is inevitable to those rejecting God's salvation. Citation 11 explains it. Oh, in, uh, in quotation, Christ hath once suffered for sins. In quotation, they needed that part. Uh, did he suffer for yours in vain? God, that's kind of ironic. Like a practical joke, you know? <laughs> that was in vain. Good thing you were probably the shortest first affection ever, JC. Everybody else, like, hung for days and days and we're out there to rot. All of them, even Spartacus. All of them. But one case was different. And one other case in... Josephus, where something very similar happens, sort of. It is your decision, it is your eternity, because you want to be where reality and time can't touch you. Think about it. Nah, don't. It might be dangerous to your faith. Saved or condemned? Though we live in a world condemned because of sin, yet, quotations, God commandeth his love towards us that, uh, in that, while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us, citation 13. Man, that's going to just drag that one out there. I'll finish it off camera, no doubt. <sighs> Another quotation. For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. He that believeth on him is not condemned. He that believeth not is condemned already, because he hath not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. Citation 14. There's all those uh, footnotes at the end. And let's see, this is Talent Bible Chapel from Main Street, East Main Street, Talent, Oregon. And something else here. Oh, Gospel Track Distributors. So I'm going to put all that shit down. It's all of Oregon. But yeah, they're uh, the track providers of my grandparents. Sunday go to Meeting Hall. They don't go to church. They're the church. A Meeting Hall is just a building. Because they're not like those damn pagans. Idolaters. Anyway. I hope you learned something. And you can explain to me what it was. So I'll maybe learn something too. Stay tuned. I'm going to do more eventually. Peace. The fuck out. Have a wonderful. Whatever the fuck it is you're having. And um. Hey, you know, it's really hot right here in the shade, but um, so I'd rather be here than any place in the world.